This morning in Health Watch, booster seats for children. Just how safe are they? CBS News transportation correspondent Nancy Cordes has the results of a new study. This car crash in Massachusetts last week landed three children, ages two, three, and five, in the hospital because they weren't properly restrained. Safety experts say every child who's too big for a car seat should be in a booster seat until they're either 12 years old or four foot nine inches tall. But not all booster seats are created equal, according to a new test. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety looked at 41 boosters and found 13 of them do such a poor job of improving the fit of lap and shoulder belts, it can't recommend them. It was somewhat surprising that more weren't doing a good job because the purpose of a booster is to improve belt fit. It doesn't the institute's vice president, Ann McCart, says it can be hard for parents to tell the difference between a good seat and a bad one. She says a good booster seat should allow the shoulder belt to fit snugly across the center of the shoulder, not across the upper arm or the neck, while the lap belt should lie flat across the top of the thighs, not across the abdomen. Only 10 of the 41 seats tested were ranked best bets. Some were high-backed seats, others backless, like this Graco Turbo Booster. If your child's seat didn't make the cut, should you throw it out? Not necessarily. And actually, if their child is getting a good fit in that seat, I would continue to use that seat if it were my child. No matter which type of booster seat you choose, experts recommend you take it out of the store, strap your little one in, and give it a test run of sorts before buying, because the fit will vary from car to car and from child to child. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.